Hi guys, uh, this is Pete, N6QW, and I want to share with you uh, my latest project, which is a uh, single sideband transceiver, a bilateral circuitry, and uh, it features a Arduino-driven DDS that you see right here. This is the DDS, and this is the nano version of the Arduino. This is the digital display. This uh, particular transceiver features bilateral circuitry ahead and after the uh, single sideband filter. And this filter, in this case, is a surplus Yaesu 3.180 megahertz uh, crystal filter that came out of an early uh, FT-101. And the basic circuitry is an SBL-1, which is both the receiver and transmit mixer right here. This is the bilateral uh, amp, first bilateral amplifier, which is nothing more than a, a common pair of 2N3906 and a 2N3904. A couple of ferrite cores to match the filter to the 50 ohms of these two amplifiers. And this is the second stage here. And this is an SBL-1, which is a both combination product detector and balance modulator. This is the audio board. And it's a two-stage audio, which has an NE5534 driving an LM380. No wimpy audio here. And this stage yet to be built is an NE5534, which is the microphone amplifier. This relay here, when you engage the relay, changes the direction of the signal, which normally goes from left to right to right to left. This is a bandpass filter here for 20 meters, and I temporarily have it uh, bypassed since I am working on 40 meters right now. So um, I'm very encouraged. This uh, particular uh, setup does not have a receiver RF amplifier, yet is very, very, very uh, sensitive. Uh, last evening I was listening to 40 meters, and I heard signals coming uh, from uh, Zeta 6 LAN, and on 20 meters today... Uh, I heard signals from VK6. This uh, particular transceiver will tune 40, 30, 20, 17, and 15 meters. The uh, All credit goes to Paul Darlington, M0, XPD, for developing the software and the approach using the Arduino DDS. This board here is actually capable of having two DDSs on it, one to generate the local oscillator signals, and the second... Uh, that will do, essentially provide the BFO frequencies. I had this second one in here, but I was getting interaction here, so that it is actually receiving the BFO in the front end. I have subsequently have taken a board out of an FT-101, which is the oscillator board, and have that wired in the circuit to provide the uh, BFO carrier insertion oscillator. Again, this is Pete, N6QW. I'm going to stop this right here, and then we'll tune uh, the, the radio uh, through uh, 40 meters here so you can hear it a little bit better. Again, my new uh, transceiver project, and uh, it's a minimalist approach uh, to putting a si single sideband signal on uh, multiple And now amateur. we'll tune the, the uh, re uh, transceiver. It's on 40 meters. We're tuning in hundreds right now. Okay, this is N6QW, and you'll see it tuned through. Now I'll tune it down in one kilohertz increments. We're now tuning in 10 kilohertz increments. We're tuning at the low end of 40 meters in the CW van. 
in 100 hertz increments. This tuning will go all the way down to 1 hertz. <laughs> 